I want to show you two easy ways to transfer inventory in Dynamics 365 Business Central. We're going to take a look at transfer orders and then item reclassification journals. Here's a transfer order screen. Here I can do a number of things. I can specify which location the inventory items are coming from and to which they're going. I can also do a direct transfer. If I want to do a direct transfer, the transfer of inventory happens immediately. If I want to use an in transit functionality, I can do that. I'm going to select an in transit code. So this is the transfer order. I specified the item. I have multiple items. I've specified the quantity. The location codes have already been identified. So what I can do here is there's a, basically a two-step process. I can ship it and I can receive it. There's also some reporting I want to show you. So this is the basic screen. I'm going to go and ship it. So go to posting, post, and then ship. And now it shows the quantity shipped. The quantity to receive is defaulted based on the original quantity. I can change that if I want to. But I'm just going to go ahead and receive that. So go to posting, post, and receive. I'm going to look at another transfer order that I've got in my system and show you some reporting related to it. So this is a transfer order. I've already shipped it. You can see that the quantity shipped is one. And there's nice reporting that can run on this to show me inbound transfers. And this is the basic reporting that comes with the system. This can be handy for you so your warehouse is kept up to date on what's coming inbound. Another easy way to transfer inventory in Business Central is to use the item reclassification journal. Here's one set up ready to go. All I do is specify the item. I can have multiple items. I specify the location code from which it's coming and the new location code to which it's going and the quantity and that's it. Then I just go ahead and post that and I'm done. If we look at the ledger entries for this item, we can see the two different types of transfers. So this one here on October 1st shows the transfer orders. So I'm shipping it out, shipping it to the in-transit location, then receiving it from the in-transit location, and receiving it into the new inventory location. Now the item reclassification journal basically does it in two steps, right? It takes it out of one location, puts it into the other location. And it's that simple. So we took a look at transfer orders, shipping, receiving, and look at the transfer report. This can be done in a direct transfer method or using an in-transit location. And then we looked at the item reclassification journal, which is a direct transfer of inventory between two locations.